Motorsports of KC, circle track, street, or drag strip, or if you want to go off-roading, they've got that special equipment you need to be faster, better looking, and safer. Located in Kansas City, Kansas at 6285 State Avenue, come on in and see Brad, Barry, or Bobby for that special speed or custom item. Motorsports of KC is glad to sponsor the Racer of the Week. Let's check with Mike Kraft and see who that racer for this week will be. Sports of KC Racer of the Week is going to be Mark Fluffy Dotson. Uh, Mark, uh, man, we're up here tonight for this USMTS race, a track you're pretty familiar with. You've run up here for quite a while. Yeah, I like this place. Uh, I wish they'd run more open shows here than just IMC stuff. It, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, once again, uh, the last USMTS race they had here, from what I understand, man, you were leading that rascal and something happened. Oh, uh, we, we had a pretty good race car. And, Got into a lap car uh, around lap 30 and spun myself out. And it's really frustrating to run with these guys and get a run like that and do that. But yeah. we'll try it again. Well, uh, one other race I saw you at this year was up there at Deep Deer Creek. You made it into the B Main, I think, started on the pole. And boy, once again, though, some stiff competition up there. There was probably, what, 100 and some drivers, some of the best modified drivers in the United States up there. Yeah, it's a really, really good group of cars, you know. Just to get into the A main there was a big deal, you know. And, uh, you know, we kind of struggled in our qualifying and got ourselves behind, but we won the heat. And um, I, I ain't sure I, we wanted to be here where we run at. But anyway, we got into the A main, and that was a big thing. Then we run second in eight qualifier that night, which is a regular USMTS race. So that's, it was a big thing for us. I know uh, with the business that you have personally, you've done a lot of business, uh, had done a lot of traveling. I know uh, I wouldn't want to say you follow the hurricanes and the disasters, but you do go around and do clean up quite a bit doing that. It wasn't it just a year or two back where you were actually racing in what Mississippi or Louisiana? Yeah, we run down in uh, Houston, down at Baytown quite a bit, and we run over uh, Mississippi. I can't remember the track now, Pike County or something like that. Yeah. And, and we were, you know, we, we won races down in there against them guys, but I'm not bragging, but you know, the competition up here is probably quite a bit stiffer than it is down there. I was going to say, I think one of the races they had at uh, CMS last year, one of the boys from Mississippi come up and I did one of these with him and he was talking about how much t stiffer the competition was up here around the Kansas City area. Uh, what's your thoughts here so far on the track tonight? I tell you what, I don't know what they've done to the track since we was here last time, but it seems like they put a little more banking in it and I think it might be real, a lot more racier. I think that the track could really be racing. Yeah. I was going to say, if I remember right, we got three three classes are going to run tonight so hopefully the track's not going to be wore out by the time that feature rolls around i mean you know it'll, it'll be gone a lot but i think the track will, will widen out i think i'm hoping it ain't going to be one lane around the bottom and be able to race all over yeah okay tell me this what kind of chassis are you running and who's making the power that's a grt by phillips with uh, kevin stowe engineering motors in it man uh, sounds like some good stuff i uh, can hardly wait to see what's going to happen out there uh, we're going to uh, kind of hang around with you here for a little while tonight, and man, we got three cameras on the car, so we're looking for some production out there. <laughs> well, I hope we get good production, and, and uh, thank you for having us do this. Uh, all right, uh, like I say, uh, Mark, uh, we'll check back in here in a little while after the heat race. Thank you.
you found a spot over here in the shade and uh, got one of the other classes out there running. Uh, what, what's going through your mind right now? I mean, anything or are you just, just relaxing? Uh, I'm relaxing. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking I've got to start in the third row. How am I going to get by that many fast cars? <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. But like you say, uh, boy, these are some of the top guys in the business, so it, it is going to be tough. Uh, are they just running one qualifying race tonight, or what? Then going to be? I wouldn't to think there'd be more than one B tonight. There's only I'm guessing around 30 cars here tonight. So, yeah. uh, but the majority of these cars aren't slouches. Yeah. So they'll take so many out, and the rest fall into they'll the B. They'll take uh, 16 out of the passing points, and the top eight will redraw, yeah. and then the rest will run a B to get in. So yeah. hopefully we ain't in the B, and maybe we're in the redraw, huh? Yeah, I hear you on that one. It's got to be, as we've already talked about, really tough to to run with these guys because you know there's a lot of big sponsorship and everything behind a lot of them. So you know there's a bunch of money out there, and then besides a lot of good equipment, there's some good drivers. So well, you know, we I just feel lucky to you know to be able to come and race with these guys, and you know I think this is maybe around my tenth race this year I've raced. These guys are probably on their 80th or 70th. Yeah. So you know just to run with these guys and be competitive, you know, it's a makes you feel good you know i mean these guys are tough yeah and, and it's, it's somewhat i know you're a veteran at it man you've been doing it quite a while but still somewhat it's got to be a learning experience too oh every time you set out i mean you know we, that's my biggest downfall i think is you know i'll be gone maybe for a year at a time and don't get to race and you come back and you play catch up and i'll tell you what these guys can flat put it on you in a year's time real quick yeah the way technology changes it could be real easy well enjoy your rest man we're, we're ready for the action
back down there with me. And... Oh, I come down and I'm gonna just. I, well, the last time I did, then this next time was I come down, down the back there? street. Uh huh? Was you good down there? It, it seemed like I thought I was a little better down there. Maybe. It seems slow. You just gotta wait and wait on it. But... I wasn't driving real hard. I just fresh water. I'm just. I screwed up. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are good. Well, that thing reminds me of my old, old, old Brett. He's been up with Brett. Yeah. It's like a 10 years ago. Really? Yeah. Y'all yeah. love it then. I hadn't yeah. been there for 10 years either. Right. Not on a track like that. No, that was fun. He was. He been ready. Well, Mark, it uh, looked like you had things pretty well in hand, and then all of a sudden, uh, whoops. <laughs> What that's happened? What you, that's what you call you run out of talent. <laughs> I just drove it in too hard, about a half a lane too high, and hit that slick spot. Yeah. Just, just run out of talent. I goofed up. <laughs> well, that's going to move you back, I'm sure, quite a bit further than oh, in the B Lord, main, because yeah. you probably would have been up right around what second, third row, probably before. Well, it'd have been in a redraw. Yeah. And now we're going to be in the B main. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what can you say? Uh, man, you was running really great there for a little bit. And uh, like you say, driver error. It was, there ain't no need to lie about it. Just <laughs> tell it like it is. But yeah, we just gotta not make that mistake. You know, other than that though, you, you really had a decent run going. I, I mean, had a good that, car. I, I, the driver just didn't do as good as the car was. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Let me ask you this. Uh, what are you thinking about doing here before the B main? Uh, any major changes or anything going to make on the car? Leave everything alone. I'm going to do leave it alone. The car was pretty good. I just need to just drive a little bit better, and I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Well, all I can tell you is uh, it was looking good. It's going from, going from a hero to a zero, right there. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, you know that's. A, you got a good class of drivers out there, and you know, I screwed up, and, and it shows how good they are. They just they go around you, you yeah. know what I mean? And that's that's a big thing. Like you said earlier, these guys uh, they don't mess up very much, so you better take advantage of it while you can. But uh, Mark, I want to thank you for being the racer of the week for Motorsports of KC. There is a fifty dollar gift certificate goes along with this, so just call them boys over there, at Motorsports of KC. And if they ain't got it, they'll get it. Hey, I appreciate y'all's coverage, and, and thanks for coming out. Well, we appreciate it, Mark, and uh, thank you a lot for being uh, Motorsports of KC Racer of the Week. Mark Fluffy Dobson. Thank you, buddy. Thank you.